So Apple threw us all a curveball and released iOS 5.0.1 Beta 2, which I updated to. You can actually denote the version. It's kind of hard to tell otherwise, but you can denote the version by looking at the version number right here. You see 5.0.1 and then it has 9A404. The 4 at the end is different from Beta 1. It used to be 9A402, so just keep that in mind. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw the phone into DFU mode here, and then we can jailbreak this bad boy. It'll be quick. It'll be easy. It's in DFU mode uh, right about now, and we should be good to go. I'll just let the home button go, and there it is in DFU mode. Let's head over to our Mac and load up Red Snow. This is the latest version of Red Snow, um, so make sure you have the latest and greatest version. You'll also need the firmware file from the previous beta or from the 5.0 official release. So that is the previous beta. You can tell because it's 9A402. Head over to Red Snow 0.9.9 beta 8 and then select IPSW under extras. Make sure you select that 402 firmware for iOS 5.0.1 beta 2 so it can identify that. You will need that, so keep that in mind. It's successfully identified. Click OK. And then let's go ahead and head back to the main page of Red Snow. Click Jailbreak. It'll say preparing for jailbreak. Go through all of its spill, patching the kernel, etc., etc. We're all used to this by now. Now you can go ahead and select Install Cydia, which should be highlighted or selected by default. Click Next. Your iPhone is already in DFU mode, right? If so, it'll go through and exploit with Lime Rain, etc., etc., and get through this jailbreak really quickly. Uh, we're pros at this now. We should be. Um, so this shouldn't be hard at all to do. So it's just going to go through the motions here. It shouldn't take too much longer. It's rebooting. And you'll see where it gives you the notice that it is a tethered jailbreak. So just keep that in mind. There is no untether yet for 5.0. All right. And now we'll look at our iPhone. It's downloading jailbreak data. And of course, the jailbreak is much faster these days because, you know, Red Snow has been updated to be quicker. All right. So I'm just speeding things up here, obviously. This is what you should see on your iPhone. Now let's unlock our iPhone back to our home screen. You should see Cydia, but the icon is white, denoting that we need to do a tethered boot. So let's put the phone back into DFU mode. All right. Let's see. Almost. Hold home and power. Let go of power. And now just continue holding home for a few more seconds. And then let go of the home button. And we should be in DFU mode right about now. And then let's go back to our Mac. And we're going to go back and re-identify our firmware. So let's just go back to select IPSW. Again, select the prior uh, beta version of 5.0.1, beta 1. There you go. And then go back and then do a just boot like I just did. And it's going to exploit with line rain again. And it's going to bring us to a working jailbroken iPhone now. So this shouldn't take much longer at all. Waiting for reboot. But like I was saying, Apple kind of threw us a curveball because they released, I mean, literally beta one of iOS 5.0.1 came out just a couple of days ago, and now we already have beta two, which is cool. I mean, which shows they're making progress, but it's also kind of weird that they would release a new firmware beta so soon. So here's our iPhone. There's the bootloading mode. We can see it's booting right back up, and we should be back at our home screen in just a second. There we are. There's our lock screen. Let's go ahead and unlock the phone. Let's see. There we go. All right. So there is Cydia and it's ready to be used. Let's go back to settings just to verify that we still own the latest and greatest version of iOS 5. And indeed we are. 5.0.19A404 denoting iOS 5.0.1 beta 2. So that's how you jailbreak the latest version of Apple's firmware. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.